Folks, an exciting day getting the driveway installed, at least most of it done today. But I do think that uh, we were off on our estimate just based on how far we've come so far. We've had nine loads, you'll see, getting dropped off uh, throughout this video. Nine loads of stones, that's, that's 10 yards, 15 tons per load, so 90, 90 yards so far. And they were kind of thinking and hoping about 100 yards total, but part of it is I want it to go on thicker, but I'm going a little bit wider as well than I originally probably planned on. You're gonna see, there's a, there's a couple areas here that it is a steep drop off when they're uh, dropping this, this gravel and then I'm trying to grade it out. It's like, it'll, it wants to tip the tractor over just about. But we're using the Summit TX25 tractor today. Have a four foot land plane on there, pretty good match for it. Um, now, this stone is a little bit wet, right? And so if you're doing maintenance with a land plane, you're gonna have dry material, hopefully, if you're doing it, uh, you know, when it's, when it's dried out. If you can, if you can avoid doing it when it's, when it's wet and heavy and kinda wants to stick together, that's gonna be preferable. You get better results. But what you're seeing now is fresh gravel that's been dropped down. It does have some moisture in it. It's drying out as, as it sits here in the sun, but it tends to want to stick together a little bit. However, overall, you can get really good results with it still. One thing about the land plane that I do love is the fact, and hopefully you can see it in the video, is that those those, there's two blades and they're both angled. They're not straight, you know, perpendicular to the tractor. They're, they're a bit of an angle tilted back on one side. And so that allows you to draw material to the left. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, to the left. And so depending on the direction of travel, you can, you can make your driveway completely flat. You can put a crown into the middle by drawing more material to the middle. You can do all sorts of things and, and, and manipulate that the way that you want to. Now Tom with Balkama is really good at his job. And if you can have a good operator that can tailgate, like he can, then it's gonna make your life a lot easier. If you can at all avoid having a pile of stone dropped just in a, in a big heap so that you have to spread it out, you're gonna save maybe hours of time depending on the size of equipment that you have to move it around. And Tom is just, you can tell that that's what he does. Day in and day out, he's been doing it for years and you know, there's a, a little hump here or there where it's just getting the, the run just starts or the run just ends that kind of thing and that's about it other than that he does 90 percent of the work and running the land plane behind it you just kind of drop it down and go and all i'm doing at this point i'm not trying to put a crown on it i'm just trying to kind of level it out you know where that steep drop off is draw material over to that side of the drive so that we can um, kind of build it up and have material to feather it out as we need to 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 prevent any dangerous situations from occurring. Now the overall scheme that I'm going for here along the fence is to, in theory, kind of have that, that contour. Everything's draining down towards the marshy area. So from up by the fence and then draining down all towards that marsh where kind of the, the, the down timber and the dead timber's at. And so I'm trying something new. I'm trying to not put a crown on that area and just essentially have it follow the natural contour and see if we can have that rain um, as everything gets packed down and packed in just have that rain kind of stream right over top. And maybe I'm asking for, for trouble, but a few guys did recommend that or mention that in previous videos too, and I'm gonna give it a shot in this one. Now, one of the big differences and why I'm gonna go a bit deeper with stone this time around is we did lay down road fabric. And so I'm not too concerned for the initial grading, but if I end up having to do a deep grade at this sometime in the future where I have to put those scarifier shanks, those big ripper teeth down, I wanna make sure that there is plenty of material in between the end of my teeth and that fabric. Otherwise, you're gonna rip up your fabric, you're gonna start pulling it up towards the top and just making a big old mess. So I'm gonna go thicker because of that. And that means that in some areas, we still probably have to, well, I can still see some of the tarp and we've just kinda of got a base layer on there, but I probably have to add another four or five inches in, in some of these areas and uh, other areas towards the middle. It's definitely been packed down, driven over. That's the nice thing too with these dump trucks is that if you have it relatively smooth and tailgated like that, every load that driver that big old heavy truck can drive over it back and forth and really help to pack down at least the tire track lines right maybe not the middle or anything else but uh, they can get you a big jump start on that too folks we are proud to be sponsored by rimguard solutions a liquid ballast weight it goes right inside your tires completely hidden we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Now, for those of you not familiar, 
the Summit TX25. It's a new tractor getting ready to hit the market nationwide next spring. So we're kind of doing the videos ahead of time to, to build some interest to show you what the tractor is about so that when it really is ready to be bought all over the place, you potential buyers can already be comfortable with it. And so Summit sent us this tractor and we're doing all sorts of videos with different attachments that we sell so you can see how it works. Uh, so far, so good. What I, what I like about this thing more and more, I think that stands out and I'm sure it's gonna bite us in the butt at some point, is the weight. The weight's very advantageous for feeling stable and solid. And even as you watch this video too, when I'm on those kind of sketchy side inclines, that lower center of gravity, these have rim guard in the tires, just the natural weight of the tractor helps you feel a little bit safer. Not that you wanna take unnecessary risks, but it's a good position to be in. The downside is, is that extra weight is gonna be robbing some power if you do, do wanna use larger attachments. Uh, Summit does a good job of telling you what attachments it's compatible with on their website too, so you can check that out. Uh, for us now, we're using the uh, the four foot land plane on here. Now speaking of this land plane, if you are looking for something for your tractor, like a land plane, a box blade, a landscape rake, a snow blower, pallet forks, a grapple, you get the idea, the list just goes on and on and on. That's what I do at my company, Goodworks Tractors, goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. And that's what my channel's about, right? I, I show the attachments in action so you can see how they work, maybe what you should do or not do with them, depending on how it goes for me. But you can see how it would, in essence, work for you too. I use the stuff that I sell so it makes you more comfortable with it and just gets a better understanding. And believe me, we show plenty of times when things go wrong too. For those of you interested, this is 21 AA gravel, a little bit of clay content in there. Uh, you'll see a section up near the road that was installed a few months ago and has been rained on and kind of settled in and compacted and everything else. Cleans up looking really nice. That clay kind of settles down in there and, and kind of binds and ties all the stone together too. You know, it looks pretty dusty and dirty right now looking at it, but trust me when I say it, it'll look just like that stuff up by the road and give a good finished result. Now Tom's bringing out more loads, the rest of it on Thursday, so we will finish up at that point uh, but pretty impressed uh, with what we got done so far I think he's got another load or two today but we're gonna get out of his way and let him keep on going as long as he needs to well that's gonna do it for us today folks just out here enjoying this beautiful August weather I want to thank you for stopping by if you enjoyed today's video we'd love to have you tag along hit that subscribe button right down below if you are looking for something for your tractor we'd love to help you out visit goodworkstractors.com I want to thank you for stopping by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon <music>